first off, let me just say the title's clickbait. You can't bring your phone into VR. But for those of you who want to be able to, you know, get texts from your honeys or your your mom or your dad or whatever while you're in VR, stick around. Without further ado, it's your boy, the virtual gangster, aka Eugene, the unemployed engineer, aka the man with 5,000 hands, aka Mr. Pushem NFTs. And today, I'm gonna show you how you can get phone notifications in your Oculus Quest 2. Let's get it. All right, so what you wanna do is go to your Oculus app and go to the devices tab here marked in red, and you should see phone notifications. However, for some reason, <laughs> mine wasn't there, so I had to uninstall the Oculus app and reinstall it. And you can see here, um, this is me uninstalling, reinstalling from the Play Store. I have an Android phone. Uh, it should be pretty much the same for Apple devices, but I'm not sure why, for some reason, my Oculus app uh, was not up to date, even though in the Play Store it was showing that it was up to date. So I just went ahead and uninstalled and reinstalled. And so here I am opening it. All right, so you just log in as normal and voila, it's this brand new app that I had never seen before. So I had to navigate my way to devices. So it's in the menu and then those little tabs, you click device and all of a sudden, boom, the phone notifications um, setting pops up, you click it enable it you see and you can choose which apps you want and don't want to have notification access in in the oculus app uh i don't think i changed any though well, actually i did i allowed google to also have notification access so facebook and google can uh, spy on me uh <laughs> but yeah so just choose which ones you want um then go ahead and go back to the oculus app and what it's going to do is going to try and pair um, through Bluetooth to your Oculus headset. Uh, honestly, you can just press pair, but there is a, a little pass key that shows up in the headset. I was looking through the headset, just verifying that it was the same number, but you don't have to do that. And press turn on and you're good to go. So um, here you can see in the headset, you're going to want to go to settings phone notifications and it's enabled just I just wanted to verify you can choose other applications um, I don't know how useful this is but uh I didn't touch any of those settings and that's pretty much it hopefully this answered any questions anybody had um, as as far as the practicality of this application having your phone notifications in your VR I'm not sure how useful it is but uh I did think it was pretty cool. One day I uh, got a messenger call from one of my relatives while I was in VR and I was just like, what the fuck? Why are you calling me? <laughs> but uh, I think that's pretty cool. Like you can like make Facebook messenger calls and you can send texts. So if it helped you just uh, drop a like and subscribe, I'm trying to get to a hundred subscribers um, by next month currently January 20th so anybody who would uh, help me reach that goal I'd be forever appreciative that way